everyone, I'm Gina R, and I was finally able to get a box of quarters. I am super happy. I finally got my hands on a box of quarters. So much so that I had a little bit of a mishap. I dropped my box. Oh well. Let me flip this box over and let's check out the bottom. Make sure everything looks okay. Also, I'm going to look to make sure that the coins are circulated and it's not a new box of the 2023 quarters. So let me go ahead and get that done. Well, it did rip it open, but nothing bad. No rolls slipped out. And after looking at the bottom, yep, we sure do have a circulated box on our hands. So let me get it open. Let's look at the top side and then we'll go ahead and get started with this hunt. Okay, pop that top open. And oh yeah, we definitely have a bunch of circulated quarters. I don't see any possible silver, but you never know. So I'm not going to know until I hunt these rows. So we're going to go ahead and start off with row number one. Oops, look at that. That bottom one is messed up. This is row number one. And I probably know. Yeah, the second row is also the same thing. So it looks like a couple of the rows in the bottom popped open too when the box fell. Oh well. Let's go ahead and get this hunt started anyway. Okay, I'm back with row 20, and I'm excited because we have our first find here. Or I should say our first real find. And let me go ahead and zoom in to get a better look at this. We have a West Point quarter. There's the W. So this was minted in West Point, and it has the preview mark here. Meaning this is a 2020 quarter. So let's see what design we have. Oh, cool. So we have the weird farm or wear farm quarter here. Wow. So we're on the board with our first find. Cool. Let me continue searching. Well, we're on row 27 and toward the very end of the row, we have another West Point quarter. This one does not have the preview mark. Let me zoom in. There we go. It does not have that preview mark. And there's the W. Oh, wow. We have a Lowell. Cool. So that's our second West Point quarter. Let me continue going through the rolls. Well, that's it for this box. I didn't find silver, but I'm okay with that because I did find two West Point quarters. And if memory serves me correct, this is the first time that I've ever found two in one box. So that's pretty awesome in my book. Now, I did find some slot fillers for my women's albums. I already have finished filling in the 2022s and I was going to start on the 2023s. So I did find a couple that will fill some slots in my album. I also did find some other cool finds that I do collect for my personal collection. Not that they're valuable, I just like them, so I keep them. So. I'm going to go ahead and come back with a wrap up, but for you, it's going to feel like a few seconds. For me, it's going to be a week. I won't do it until I get home. So enough said. Let me go ahead and sort out what I got, and I'll be back with a wrap up of my finds. Well, I'm back with a recap of what I found during this box hunt. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the top. These are my bicentennial quarters. I do collect them. These are go into my personal stack. And this stack right here is the Philadelphia. I did find three of them. And I found a total of eight of the Denver Mint Mark. 
and I'm going to zoom in a little bit because one of them is in really nice condition. Look at that. So I'm going to flip this up. It will not go into my album because the one I have in there already is just as nice as this one. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this but separate. So those are the Bicentennial Quarters that I found, which I do love and keep for my stack. Next, we have the 2009 minted quarters. Now, this was a low mintage year for these. And let me go ahead and start off with the left. This is the Guam, Denver. There were three of them. And I must note that I found a lot of them more than I normally do. The American Samoa, Denver, three of them. I found two of the Puerto Rico, Denver minted. As far as the District of Columbia, I found three that were from Denver and one from Philadelphia. From the U.S. Virgin Islands, I found one Philadelphia. And from the Northern Mariana Islands, I did find one Denver minted quarter. I have to say the best two finds of the box were my West Point quarters. And let me zoom in here. We did find the 2019 Lowell and the 2020 Ware Farms. So that was cool. I also found two slot fillers for my American Women's Quarters. And these are the 2023 quarters. The first one is the Betsy Coleman, and this is a Denver Mint. And the second one is Edith Kanakwa Ola a Quarter, and that is a Philadelphia Minted Quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in my album. Well, I put my two new quarters into my women's albums. And I got to say, it's starting to look really nice. I put the Betsy Coleman Denver Minted Quarter and the Edith Kanaka Ole in Philadelphia in its slot. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, happy hunting, happy collecting. Bye, everyone.